because I mean you have Romain Villa earning yes. his shot at the defeating uh, Rashidi Ellis facing off against uh, Jerron Ellis. Which, uh, I think fight. it's going to be a great fight. I think it's a beautiful style clash. Mm-hmm. Romain Villa is coming to get you right. You know, it, maybe mm-hmm. it's not round three, maybe it's not round four, but if you don't, you know, I, I think if you don't get him out of there. You're gonna have a very tough fight come round seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so I'm very looking forward to see what Jerron is gonna do against this style because this is not a guy that came to lay down. Yeah, good uh, test for him. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna see. I think it's kind of like with Jared against Charles Martin. This guy's not a former champion, but still, we saw what he can do against, you know, a really good boxer against Rashidi. So now it's mm-hmm. Jerron's turn, and uh, that was an. That was an upset, wasn't it, as well? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, I actually had Rashidi winning, but, I mean, he got dropped, what, two okay. times at towards the end of the fight? Yeah. Okay, so expectations then. Josh, go, what are you thinking on this one? Yeah, I think it's going to be a very, very good fight. I had saw Roman Villa. He was brought in as a opponent against one of, I believe, Golden Boy's prospects, Boca Chica, and... Man, he was handling him. He was landing some heavy shots, uh, especially early on. It looked like the fight was going to end early, but uh, Boca Chica weathered the storm, and Villa, he continued to press, and he won that fight. And then seeing him, of course, what he did with Rashidi Ellis, I think his power certainly carries throughout the duration of a fight. And those were two good tests, kind of his introduction to sort of a wider audience. And I think he's going to come with it in his Jerron in his fight. So it's a very good matchup, very intriguing matchup, because Villa has the type of power that will kind of see mm-hmm. what how, how Jerron in his reacts if he's touched with a, something super nice and hard from uh, Roman Villa. Now, in his, of course, he, <clears throat> excuse me, he's on that trajectory to be one of the top 147 pounders, especially once we get, Errol Spitz and Terrence Crawford, once they do their thing and then kind of see where they go from there. And Errol's already mentioned he's potentially moving up. So uh, Jerron Ennis, this is his opportunity right here to kind of stamp his name and say, okay, yes, I am the real deal. I am that guy can count on next. And I look forward to seeing how he handles a guy who who can really punch. Great. Yeah, definitely an intriguing one. I was just looking into Phil's record earlier when I was I was getting um, set up for for the stream interesting record like say got big big uh, numbers there 24 wins out 24 sorry 24 stoppages from 26 wins um, it is worth noting though his last two fights are the big step up fights and he has gone the distance in, the, in both of those um, yeah but yeah, being like I say, he's, he's clearly got some power. He's, he's Colombian, you know, the South Americans are notorious for coming over to the UK and wrecking our guys. So, <laughs> so, so um, yeah, it'll be a, a nice test for Geron Ennis to see how, how he does. You know, he's got a, a perfect record, you know, 30 wins, 27 knockouts himself. We know he carries power. It's exciting to watch. I've been high on boots for a few years now since I saw him. Um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does here. And then, obviously, we've got Spencer Crawford coming up. Ennis is going to be in the mix up at the top of that division, or else he's lingering around there. We've got Virgil Ortiz Jr. we're going to discuss in a minute. Um, yeah, I guess there might be a couple in the division below might be looking to come up at some point, maybe. I don't think that matters. I don't think any of these 140-pounders are going to mess with no... Virgil, if he can st- stay in the division or Jerron Boots. Mm. Um, wait, should we do predictions? For this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go for it. You, you go first, Alex. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, I think Via is going to come, but I think this is probably going to be a little too much for Via. I, I'm, I'm expecting Ennis to close the show. I'm, I'm digging around late, late round stoppage. I'll say round 10, Boots Ennis. Okay. Josh? You know, I didn't think uh, Alice was going to go there, but I'm of the same. I'm on that same boat, that same ship. I think that Ennis, he has to know that the stakes are at their highest at this particular point, and he knows he didn't look good in that last fight mm. when they were uh, when they were actually promoting 
promoting him and putting him out there as the next big thing. And he was the co-main event on that Davis card, which did well. Davis and uh, Hector Garcia just thinking about some eyes seeing him. So I think he knows he's going to have to look good in this one. And and while Bia does have power, uh, fundamentally, Jerron Ennis should have enough to be able to break him down and probably get him out there a little bit later on, especially if he's of the ilk that we think he is. Absolutely. I, I think he is. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go with that, but I think he might do it a little bit earlier. I, I think more mid rounds, maybe, maybe, nice. you know, five, six, seven, eight around there. He might, he might undo him, um, quickly. Like I say, he needs to put on a show, doesn't he? He needs to get his name out there as the mm. other top guy of the division after yeah. Spencer Crawford. And uh, this is kind of a homecoming fight as well. It's only about an hour or two from Philadelphia. Okay. It's like two hours. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay. Uh, in the chat there, Rodolfo Rivera, uh, good to see you in the chat, Rodolfo. Thanks for coming by. He's just mentioned he's on the lookout for Edwin De Los Santos. Uh, some Bay Area rappers have been shouting him out. That's no. that's very very interesting. No. How the hell did Edwin De Los Santos get on Bay Area's uh, Bay Area rappers' radar? Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not sure what that's about. But uh, what can you tell us about Edwin De Los Santos, Alex? Oh man, big puncher. Uh, definitely a dude. Uh, he's known for beating the crap out of Rio Venezuela uh, on short notice. Okay. So um, he's he's definitely a guy that's been trying to get big fights against uh, oh, yeah. Port Stevenson, Isaac Cruz. And uh, he pulls uh, Joseph Adorno, who's a good, solid fighter. Uh, we last saw Adorno on the Matias versus Ponce card. Um, you know, he's a, like I say, he's a guy that, he's a guy that competes, uh, but doesn't beat the better talent. So we're going to see who Edwin De Los Santos is. Because if you recall, he uh, was on a show box and after three, four rounds, gassed out and got outboxed by William Foster. Uh, it was quite, quite one-sided. So bounce back mm-hmm. and... Uh, we're going to see uh, where he is after this Adorno fight. Okay, yeah, just seeing there that loss came in his first fight over in the States. And mm. then, um, like you say, he's, he's, he's had a couple more time fights, two KO wins back to back. Yeah, okay, that'll be a good test for him. Alan, have you got anything to say to, uh, to that, uh, Josh? No, no. In seeing who he was, I, I saw the name. I, I wasn't thinking, I didn't know who he was at that particular point. But now seeing this, I do recall him. So, yeah, this should be a good fight. We'll see where uh, Joseph Adorno is as well. This is a this is a nice little matchup that could do wonders for both guys if were they to win, you know. So that's all I have. Okay. If he was a, if he was a Bayside rapper, you'd know who he was, but you're not. So <laughs> there we go. Um, anything else to shout about on this one, boys, before we move, move on? Decent co-main. What's the of his Gomez was a is a top Cuban amateur that uh, has been put on the fast track, but dealing mm-hmm. with injuries. So we'll see where he is. Uh, Marquise Taylor is a dude that uh, we've seen him um, showbox a lot. So yeah, good match up there. Okay, right. fair enough. What's the age of uh, Gomez? Uh, Who knows? <laughs> Whatever it is, it might be older. <laughs> okay, mm. yeah, I'm getting Lewis Ortiz vibes there. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, let's yeah. move. Let's move on. Uh-